A few days ago, Nikola came out with a brand new milestone step plan, which detailed the production steps of the new trucks and the hydrogen infrastructure for the next few years. Now, that step plan, based on what I know, is a bunch of horseshit, and I said it in my video. However, I'm an outsider looking in. Granted, I've called every single thing that happened to the company to the T, but this time, we have an insider, my source inside Nikola, an actual employee inside the company, sent me an email responding to every single claim they made in that PR notice that was attached to the milestone plan. And beyond the fact that it is hilarious, it's actually quite alarming. First of all, as always, everything you hear in this video, everything you see in this video is strictly my own opinion and may be entirely incorrect. Please do your own research find out the truth for yourself. And before we progress any further, I've been asked that quite often. How do you know this source is for real? How do you know you're not getting played? Well, the answer is, I don't know. This might be a hoax, who knows? However, I did some of my own research. I cross-referenced the name with the phone number I have from the source with some stuff online, and it seems like it's an actual employee in Nikola and not a junior one. So based on my research, it seems legit, However, I'm not representing anything. This might all be a hoax. Take it with a grain of salt. And now to the juicy part. The part you've all been waiting for. My source responds to every single claim made in that PR release. Number one, Nikola is an original equipment manufacturer, OEM, whose expertise lies in design, innovation, software, and engineering. Now my source, not a manufacturer, your factory construction is stalled and it is unlikely you will ever have enough money to finish it. You're a glorified design center with good software, electronics, and hardware engineers with decent prototyping equipment, but no opportunities for innovation and invention. We assemble, integrate, and commission our vehicles in collaboration with business partners and suppliers that bring decades of experience in manufacturing and that have invested billions of dollars in industrializing and scaling production. Nikola designs and engineers its vehicles and works with business partners and suppliers to manufacture a majority of the vehicle components. My source, assuming that means that the suppliers manufacture a majority of the vehicle, such as batteries, inverters, e-axles, fuel cells, and particularly every significant mechanical component of an electric vehicle, Nikola just bolts them together. Hand me that 18 millimeter socket, would you? I think he was making a joke and a good one. Nikola is an innovator and an integrator. I remember that one, my source. As far as being an innovator, there's nothing to point to that substantiates being an innovator. Most components are purchased and the few that Nikola actually provides are gimmicky interior electronics that the public is easily impressed with and is actually getting so common it is becoming ordinary. A big touchscreen TV in the middle of a vehicle is someone else's innovation a long time ago. Now that is just one example. And there are no opportunities for innovation in the electronics that control the vehicle functions. They simply aren't rocket science. In short, prove it. Ooh, that was harsh. This innovator integrator business model is not uncommon in the next generation technology space. At Nikola, we are laser focused on pursuing the quickest, least capital intensive path to market in combination with our own intellectual property. If our partners have a less expensive, more efficient solution, we're gonna go with it. This is the best interest of our company and our shareholders. And simply put, it is the smartest business decision. In line with our strategy, Nikola will continue to partner with world-class companies that will enable us to save billions of dollars and years in development. Okay, my source, you are locked into outsourcing the innovative stuff that is out there since the opportunities to innovate in the electric vehicle business are rapidly decreasing. Exactly what meaningful advances does Nikola think they can bring to the table and when will they have a product? Next up, Energy business unit, developing and constructing a network of hydrogen fueling stations to meet hydrogen fuel demand for our fuel cell electric vehicles and other customers, including potential charging solutions for BEV customers. My source, this is pure fantasy. 
Possibly not for some other players or even better players in the industry, but not for Nikola. This is beyond Nikola's scale, which is exactly what I said in my video. So I agree with him here. Power Sports Business Unit. Developing electric vehicle solutions for outdoor recreational applications. Oh, this got to be good. Pretty much destined to be a money burning machine with lousy ROI, if any at all, and a massive distractions of resources from things that might have panned out, such as actual trucks. Ooh, that's harsh. Let's keep reading. As an early stage growth company, Nikola is uniquely positioned to bring together strategic business partners and suppliers to significantly reduce execution risks, improve commercialization timelines, and build long-term competitive advantages. My source. At this point, all any partnership is likely to bring to the table is to tarnish the name of the partner. Not good marketing for them. Whew, that was harsh. A number of world-class partners, which include the Bosch Group of Companies, CNH Industrial, Hanwha Group and Null Hydrogen are strategically involved and have invested capital. My source. For now, they may be just saving face until December 3rd. With support from our business partners and suppliers, we are focused on executing our strategic initiatives and laying down the groundwork to become a vertically integrated <laughs> zero emission transportation solutions provider. My source. All caps. Not this shit again. <laughs> Nikola continues to make progress and remains committed to achieving the following milestones. Nikola expects the first batch of the prototypes of the Nikola Tray 100% battery electric truck will be substantially complete at our JV facility in Ulm, Germany in the next few weeks. My source. The interesting thing about the Tray is that Iveco could build that truck alone. Hell, they build the chassis, the body, and all the serious hardware as it is. They just throw Bosch, Romeo, and other companies' stuff into it and wire it all up the way Nikola tells them to. If Iveco ever recover from their intoxication with Nikola, they may realize this. Well, this is harsh. Um, I think Romeo are the batteries, right? Bosch are the fuel cells. And what else do we have there? I mean, off-the-shelf stuff, allegedly. Nikola hydrogen fuel cells powered semi trucks. Nikola expects to begin testing production engineering prototypes of its hydrogen fuel cell powered semi trucks for the medium and long haul by the end of 2021. Fuel cell electric vehicle beta prototypes are expected to be tested at the first half of 2022. Anheuser Busch LLC previously announced its placement of an order of up to 800 trucks. Nikola is currently evaluating additional strategic partners and supply chain arrangements. My source, don't worry too much. Those customers can also consider Mercedes and Hyundai as alternatives. That's true. Bosch has been instrumental in helping to integrate heavy duty fuel cell power modules into the Nikola trucks. My source, if there's any innovation there, it would be Bosch. Nikola is an assembler. I was wrong about Nikola and innovation. This is Nikola's true calling. The website, the graphics, and the videos are all the first rate. Maybe you could find a market for stuff like this. With virtual reality being what it is, you may be more successful making virtual reality video games, especially for your power sports. Ouch. Hydrogen is a competitive advantage. Nikola's plant network of fueling stations are central to its business model and advancing hydrogen fuel cell based transportation. My source. Hydrogen will take more money than you will ever find at this point. Leave the hydrogen to the experts. Next, manufacturing facility in Coolidge, Arizona. Nikola continues to make progress on the development of its 1 million square foot manufacturing facility in Coolidge, Arizona. My source. Not according to a regular series of videos, including the latest one showing what appears to be a stoppage of work. And you can't afford it anyways. Well, that's harsh. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the response of somebody inside the organization to what they're putting out in their PR releases. This isn't very encouraging. It's somewhat funny and very, very scary to think that people have a lot of money invested in this company. As always, huge thanks to our channel members, our patrons. You guys make these videos possible. You make me sustainable. Thank you so much. I'm humbled. I'll see you guys in the next video.